Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for June. This is for the sign of Taurus. This is for June. Let's see what we got. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This has been being recorded at the end of May, so it could resonate now, but I would urge you to watch it in June, and maybe even, you know, at the beginning of June, the middle of June, or the end of June, whatever. You know, if it doesn't resonate right away. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these, then we're going to get this deck right here. One just fell out. We're going we're gonna to take it because I'm pretty sure it fits. Um, so, yeah, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Woman Holding Heart, 44. So we got a woman here who has a really big heart. It's unmistakable. It's huge. Um, it's available. <laughs> it's big. So we got somebody here who has a really, really big heart. We're going to see what's going to happen next, but it's unmistakably big, okay? Um, you, know, and, you know, four is an angel number, so take that into consideration. Somebody sees that heart, trust me. It's unmistakable. I mean, we got a really big heart here. And she's, it's like, it's, you know, she's ready. She's ready for love. And, and she's, she's got a lot to offer. And it, it stems from the heart. Whatever she is offering is coming from her heart. It's heart. It's all heart. What do we have for Taurus for the month of June? We have somebody here <laughs> that is unstable, insecure, and cannot master their emotions. We, we, have, we have somebody here that um, may have withdrawn emotionally. Um, this person just can't master their emotions, okay? This person can't master their emotions. This person may be an emotional wreck. They may not be financially stable as well. <laughs> um, whoever this person is, they may be focused on everything but love. You know, they're not focused on love. Not emotionally available, put it that way. But this is the past, and this is the present. Okay, so we're this. Is, I have a way with my spread. I have a, so this is the past. So we're gonna see what happens. We do have somebody who is not emotionally available now. You may have a choice, or you may have been dealing. I mean, she's looking down. You may have been dealing with two people, or this could be the same person taking on these energies. We have somebody here that is well. They could be throwing away a golden opportunity for love. They may see themselves as a victim, you know. Those two cards fell out too. So this, or, or I don't even know what happened, but they came out together. But interesting, very, very interesting. Somebody's not thinking clearly, okay? We got somebody here who is emotionally unbalanced. Maybe clinging to control. It's time for a change. So this is a change in direction. We're moving towards the future, okay? We're moving towards the future. So this is a change in direction. Destined change. Knight of Cups. An offer of love, so this is what's coming. So right around the corner, an offer of love is coming. 
I don't know if it's from somebody new or from from this person or one of these guys. Okay, this could be one person or it could be two different men. Okay, we have somebody here that is coming forward with an offer of love, ready for a relationship. We do have a change in direction here. Change of course. Destiny. Okay, destined change of course. Whatever is happening, whatever is happening is bringing you closer to some sort of relationship. This is relationship growth. I mean... Boy, they just uh, keep a leaping, don't they? They're just leaping. Now, we got somebody here that may have acted foolishly. They may have let fear get in the way of something stable and emotionally fulfilling. They may have. Ooh, but this, oh my God. So there's love here. There is love. Big, big, big love. So we got a new opportunity for love coming in, Taurus. Something is changing for the better. Somebody has seen the light. They're coming out of a dark period. This person may have ghosted you or they may have left you in the cold. Or like I said, they may have seen themselves as a victim. But now they're coming out of this darkness and it's like they're, they're, they're seeing the light in a situation. There's pain here. There is some sort of pain and suffering. We have somebody here that has been hurting and suffering over perhaps their foolishness. Their instability. Somebody's been really insecure, you know, unable to face their fears about love, perhaps. But this is love. This is love, and it is big love. This is a new start in love. So I don't know if this is somebody new or it's or who it is. But this is a new start. This is love. This is big, big love for this woman who has a big, big heart. Somebody hasn't had the confidence or the courage. Somebody may not have done the noble thing, and maybe they didn't do the noble thing because they were they were hurting, they were suffering over something. This is in the external position. So on the outside, you know, they lack confidence. I mean, inside themselves, they, whoever you're dealing with lacks confidence. They have their own insecurities that they've been dealing with. They may want to come back. They may have walked away or you may have walked away and now they want to come back and they're thinking about it. But you're being called to think about it as well. Do you want to go back to this? There's definitely been some pain. There's been some suffering. Somebody has acted foolishly. Somebody, you know, somebody may have uh, taken advantage of another person. This is taking advantage of the fool in reverse. You know, and maybe maybe there's some regrets. I don't know. I don't know. We do have an offer of love coming in because this is right around the corner. Somebody is going to be coming forth with an offer of love. Something, you know, maybe they want to they want to have a relationship or they want this relationship to grow. They want to they want to put in effort or something like that. Somebody didn't want to be held accountable. There was an unjust situation where somebody. Uh, didn't act with integrity or they didn't tell the truth or they didn't do the right thing and and there's been some sort of maybe there's been some karma received because of it there's been a loss of some sort somebody has experienced maybe even a financial loss you will experience financial loss due to due to karma anything anything okay karma will hit you in the bank account <laughs> it will so quite often 
quite often it will hit you in the bank account. So I feel like there's been some sort of financial loss or some sort of significant loss because of somebody's lack of integrity. Somebody didn't do the right thing. They may have lied. Somebody wasn't telling the truth. Somebody was deceiving. Somebody was... Um, Avoiding challenge. We got somebody here that may want to, you know, offer, open their heart now after they avoided, you know. They may have treated another person unfairly. We have somebody here with great personal fear. Overwhelmed with fear. Very distrustful. But now it looks to me like this person is is trying to be flexible. They're, they're ready to take the next step. They made some poor decisions and they want to bring balance back. Things have been unbalanced for too long. And it's like now they want to take steps to bring balance back to a relationship or balance back to their lives. It's It's like... They're ready. They're ready for some sort of change. They're ready to take that, that next step. They may see you as being very attractive. They may see your vibration. They may see your passion. They may see your ability to create. They may see you as being very creative. They may see that, you know, you're, you're, maybe they see you're very powerful. And now they want to invest time. Somebody's going to be investing in you. Somebody is very, very attracted to you. Um, it's like now that it's time, it's time to, uh, Choose. It's time to pick. It's picking time. The, the, you know, I feel like whoever this person is that is coming into your life, they see your ability to create. They see your ability to grow. They see your ability to nurture things to fruition. I think something is coming to fruition that you, that you planted some time ago. Okay? Now it's time. It has grown. It has grown to a point of, you know, it's harvest time. Now we do have a change in direction. We have, it's time. It's time for the reward. Yeah, somebody's ready. Somebody's ready to move forward and leave the past behind. So, so get prepared, get prepared. Maybe, maybe whoever this person is has been juggling a lot of responsibilities and they, they weren't able to, um, they weren't choosing wisely. They were deceiving themselves, whatever. Anyway, now we have somebody here that is, is ready to focus on the future and leave the past behind. I think this person has reached this, this crossroads and they're ready to, to, you know, step into the unknown. And now you're going to be presented with a decision. Do you want this opportunity? This is a very passionate opportunity. It's like you have the power in your hands. I think you do have the power in your hands. Now you have to make a decision. Do you want this? Do you want this relationship? Do you want to invest in this? Do you do you want to uh, give it your effort? Do you want to give it your time? I think we have somebody here that is is coming in with an with an offer. It's an it's a loving offer, and now you have to choose. Do you want to do you want to go back to this? There's been some pain involved. There's been some suffering involved. Somebody 
didn't uh, they lost their focus they lost their concentration they they it's like they may have been self-centered they may have been greedy they may have let their ego and their pride get in the way and I think because they weren't seeing a situation clearly they may have went downhill their health may have went downhill or their vibration or their Their ambition, their drive, they lost their ambition, they lost their drive, they lost their focus. And now they want, they may not want you to walk away or they may not, they may want to come back. It could go either way. We have somebody that's life, their, their life has like been turned upside down because they lost their focus. They lost their concentration. They, they didn't, they let their ego and their pride get in the way. And I feel like, Taurus, I also have to mention that you probably have many options here. We have three kings, okay? And this is, you know, this could be don't put all your eggs in one basket, okay? So just, you may have multiple options this month. All three of these kings are reversed, though. So I think that we, we uh, this could be all one, this could be one man as well. This could be one person. Could be a, could be a female as well. I don't know. I think it's a man, though. Because we have these three kings. And I think the woman here is, is readily. I mean her heart is big. And she, her heart is ready. And whatever. Anyway. I feel like we have this masculine. Or maybe even more than one. That. Maybe he's been juggling. Maybe he, he's been very indecisive. Maybe he sees that. You know. You have multiple options. And now he's ready to open his heart because there's multiple options. I don't know. There's there's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of there's a lot of. Uh, I think there's guilt. There's guilt. There may be some regrets. We have somebody here that is in a state of, it's almost like despair. It, it could be over the pain that they have endured or the pain that they have caused in the situation. They may have had hidden agendas. Maybe they're fearful. Maybe they're fearful of f somebody knowing the truth. Revealing all their secrets, you know, maybe they're fearful that, you know, once I, I get involved with this person, they're, they will, they'll know it all. Maybe they're afraid of this person. Um, yeah, we have somebody here that doesn't... It's almost like they don't have the, maybe they don't think they're capable of starting over. They don't think that they have enough to offer. They don't have the focus or the follow through to carry out a task. They, they, we have somebody here that's been keeping secrets about who they truly are or what they truly want. Somebody hasn't planned, they didn't plan, they didn't plan on falling in love. They didn't plan on that. They didn't plan on falling in love. And now they're fearful. They're fearful to step over that edge. That's what we got here. Somebody's fearful to step over that edge. Definitely fearful to step over. They didn't plan. They didn't plan on it. So, Taurus, I feel like you are going to be receiving a message from somebody. Somebody's going to take action after they did not treat a person fairly. That's all there is to it. Somebody did not treat a person fairly. And I feel like now they're ready. They're ready to take that next step. They, there was some sort of deception here. There was some sort of lie. 
and I think that now now they're they're seeing they're seeing something they're seeing they're discovering they got this new discovery here they got they're discovering that this is love because if you look up there he's this person is looking at the love <laughs> We could have somebody here that's deciding to come out of hiding. You know, this person has been in hiding and they're deciding to come out of hiding. Maybe this person it doesn't want to grow old alone and maybe they're starting to have fears that they're going to grow old alone. Somebody may be moving. Somebody, there could be a change in your living circumstances. Um... Now the Ten of Pentacles reverse. This is uh, turning away, turning away from a family situation. You know, there's been a really stressful family situation here. Maybe even a midlife crisis, either with you or the person that you're dealing with. There's definitely been a loss of money, a loss of finances, um, financial woes here that has caused somebody a lot of worry, caused somebody to be very overwhelmed. And maybe that's why they couldn't, you know, open their heart, whatever. Anyway, we have some sort. And now we have, this is a rejection as well. So somebody may have rejected and love is underneath here because of financial problems. Definitely, there's financial issues here. But they, it's like now they see the truth. And now that they, they can't avoid the truth of something. This is seeing the truth. There's been so many overwhelming fears. Maybe that it's fears of, you know, revealing the truth. Okay, with the high priest, it's like I don't, I don't want you to know how bad it is. Maybe there's fear of rejection because of the financial issues. But here is liberation. This is breaking free. This is. Um, coming out of this painful time. It's the end. The worst is over. Maybe it's with you or the person you're dealing with. It's like there's no place to go but up. This is liberation. So I feel like we have somebody here that that has liberated themselves from a very stressful situation with an individual who was emotionally unavailable and probably financially unstable and didn't want them to know, okay, because that high priestess reversed, it's like I don't want you to know, I don't very stressed. Very, very stressed over the money over the home situation. But the truth has been revealed. Okay, the truth, this is the truth being revealed. There's great personal fear here. Great personal fear. Somebody is very fearful. Lack of confidence. But... This is act now, think later, taking action. Somebody has been fearful of taking action. There's a strong desire to move forward, but they're, they may be intimidated. They may be intimidated by you, or they could be dealing with another person that is intimidating them. You know, they, they may be... Wanting to take action, but they're scared. <laughs> I mean, this this person is very forthright. She's very um, to the point, and you know, she may be a little bit hard to love because she's been hurt so badly in the past. Anyway, we have somebody that is taking action. This person is moving forward. They are going to take action. Could be a sudden decision. 
It could be a sudden decision to face the pain, to face this, you know, animosity that they have caused or something like that. Oh, my God. Wow. Hmm. Wow. I, I'm speechless. I can't even get over this. We have somebody here that is taking action towards this person who has probably retreated. Okay, this person has retreated. This person has stepped back. This person has shut down. This person has um, is holding on to their, their stance, not giving up. A very, very... Um, I mean, this person may be bitter and resentful. Um, this person is taking action to, you know, fix things, I think. Wants to heal this situation because this person has taken back their offer. We have somebody here that is just like, back up. Put it to a complete halt. Now this person is coming forward to take action, and I think it's because... Somebody here has, has totally shut down. Totally shut down. This person shuts down, which causes this other person to shut down completely. Very stubborn energy. We have two people here that are both very stubborn. Both holding on, very stubborn. This is stubborn, very stubborn. We have two people here that are both very stubborn. Obsessed with holding on to their stance. Serious power struggle here between these two people. We have this one person that is very, very well, very doing very well, very independent, standing in their power, self sufficient, you know, enjoying life, enjoying the finer things, grateful. Living, living in a, a this is a, this is luxury. Living in luxury, and I think that, you know, we have somebody here that this person she knows her worth, she knows her value, and she's not going to settle. She's not going to settle for a player. The page of pentacles reversed down here. This is a player. This is a player. So I feel like we have somebody here that is standing in their power and has taken back their offer and very stubbornly holding on to, you know, their stance. So we have this other person that is taking action, you know, because maybe they didn't do the right thing. I don't know. Somebody is, is taking action. They are taking action after being fearful. Maybe they, they've, they've seen the light. They just don't, you know, they don't want to do this alone. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Underneath it is the Ace of Cups, so there is love here. Big, 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 big love. And what happened has, I feel like we have this woman whose heart is really big and she has, you know, given all that she can give. And maybe now she's holding on to her stance because there's, I don't know, maybe there's no reciprocation. There's been a rejection. Now this person is ready to step into the unknown. There's been a lot of investment here. I think this woman, she has multiple options because, you know, she knows her worth. She's very self-sufficient. She's worked hard. She's enjoying life. She's, you know, she's healthy. She's, she's ready. She's good. And I think that, that somebody is arriving, okay? The ship is arriving, and I feel like something that she has been waiting for, or he, some, some, 
something is, is, is right in sight. The ship has arrived. Get prepared because something is something is gonna be is gonna show up right in front of you and you you may not you may not have expected it. Okay, you may not have expected it at this time, but here it is. Here it is. I think this is kind of like a sudden arrival. I feel like this is, is a sudden arrival for this independent person who knows her value, knows her worth, and, you know, is just enjoying life. So if this is you, if this is you, there's a sudden arrival here, something that you, you've, you've probably been getting prepared for and you just didn't know when it was going to come. I think this is the month. I think that your, your investment, whatever you have invested in, like I said, something you planted a long time ago, something you've invested in, it's time. And I say it's time because the, the temperance, it's time. The time is now. Divine timing. So get prepared. I think something is arriving that you have been waiting for. And I think it's because you have, you know, I think it's because you focused on yourself. I think it's because you know your value. I think it's because you know your worth. And I think it's because you held back from giving your abundance away to somebody who doesn't deserve it. It's because you stood in your power. It's because you protected yourself. I, it could be this person. Or it could be one. I don't know how many men you're dealing with, but... Somebody is is going to take action for sure with that night of with that night of wands. It could be a very uh, it could be suddenly there could be and it could be a sudden arrival as well. I, I do think it's a sudden arrival. I think you don't expect it. I do think that you don't expect it. <laughs> Whatever. I think yeah, it's something's it's it's gonna happen all of a sudden like that just happened. Something is gonna happen suddenly. And you could be getting into some, you could be at the beginning of a, of a relationship with this Knight of Cups, okay? You could be at the beginning of a relationship. This is coming together with somebody. I think that you've reached the point where it's time to come together with whoever this is. Um, something that you have been waiting for is arriving. And I don't know who it is or what it is. Um, it does involve love. The very middle card is the Ace of Cups. This is love, okay? It's love. And I think it's because of they, whoever this person is, is going to see your big heart. It's it's unmistakable. It is unmistakable. You're, it's, this, this is huge, okay? It's a huge. Change is on the horizon with that Wheel of Fortune. It is. This is a change in direction. It's a change, of course. This is good luck. Whatever is coming, is it's really good. It's a lucky break. It's going to make you happy. It is with that Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck. It's it's harvest time. It is. It's, ti it's time. It's time. Whatever it is, it's time. You holding on to your stance... I believe that you holding on to your stance and knowing your worth and knowing your value is going to bring you some sort of reward. Somebody could be coming back or some of you could be walking away because this is becoming single. This is walking away and becoming single enjoying life and then all of a something some all of a sudden something arrives and that's what's going on somebody may have walked away from something you know i'm working on me i'm good i'm fine i'm great i mean i i got my shit together that's what this is and now something is arriving so that's what i got I, whoever this person is, is is hoping for the best this is this is like they're going to take that risk. They're ready to take that risk and they're hoping for the best. So that is what I got, Taurus. I know this is going to be a long one, but we're going to get one of these two. One card for Taurus. I wasn't planning on it being this long, but, you know, I think it's been a long road. It has been a long road. Um...
we have somebody here that has been resisting change and I think they can't resist it anymore temptation ain't that just wonderful it's just what we need isn't it Taurus we need some temptation in our lives not life is full of temptations and right now you are being asked to choose the higher path your need to prove that you are worthy and important and I said somebody was trying to very stubborn anyway you need to prove that you are worth your your need to prove that you are worthy and important is clouding your true purpose and tempting you to make wrong decisions become aware of what is happening in your life right now are you feeling bored in a relationship or lo looking for something outside of your partnership instead of being honest and working on the challenges you are experiencing or moving on is there a work opportunity that is tempting you to act without integrity in order to get ahead are you using money as an excuse not to follow your heart this is for the other person That's my take on it. A temptation. I mean, this is the devil card. Anyway, we're going to keep going. Are you using money as an excuse not to follow your heart? I mean, this could be for Taurus. It could be. This card asks you to focus on the bigger picture. Be honest with yourself and take the higher path. Another opportunity that is much grander than what you have imagined is on its way. Just be open to it and allow it into your life. There is an opportunity for love arriving. Maybe you're too focused on money. Maybe you're too focused on your job. Maybe you're not, you aren't really focused on love. I don't know, Taurus. I don't know, but this is you're being called to, to focus on your, your heart, focus on love. follow your heart that's all I can say is follow your heart somebody is coming in with an offer of love and you are being called to follow your heart so that is what I got for June expect the unexpected okay expect the unexpected somebody is coming somebody is coming and they may not have treated you unfairly I mean they may have treated you unfairly or maybe you treated them unfairly I mean it could go both ways but there's a there's a relation there's a relationship here that is that is really coming into focus. Another opportunity that is much grander than what you have imagined is on its way. Just be open to it and allow it into your life. Good luck. 